Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Taurus. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at the energies of the person who is on your mind, connected to or coming towards you to see what they could be thinking and feeling about this connection right now and what intentions they might have towards you. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is the person connected to or coming towards Taurus thinking about them? What are they thinking overall? What are they feeling? A whole bunch try to jump out. What are they feeling? What are they feeling in their heart space about Taurus? What do they like best about Taurus and this connection with them? And what don't they like as much? What are their highest hopes? What are their highest hopes when it comes to this connection? What are their highest hopes? And what are their deepest fears? Now we're gonna get three cards for what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. I'm gonna lay those face down over here and we will look at them together at the end. And if you do enjoy my readings, I would love if you'd subscribe and give the message a like if you enjoy it. Thank you so much. Heart of the matter, we have the Nine of Cups. This is somebody who could definitely be thinking about you, Taurus. They could be feeling like you are a wish come true, somebody that they've been hoping for, somebody they've been wanting to meet. Pisces energy could be significant, strong in your chart or your person's, but this is somebody who could be also finding a little bit of, you know, happiness independently as they get some things sorted out. The Nine of Cups comes right before the Ten of Cups. In order to have that Ten of Cups, which is a happy, lasting connection, you've got to have, you know, some good energy. You've got to be stable in yourself. You've got to be, you know, you've got to find that within yourself if you want to find it in another person because we always tend to attract what we are. So this could be somebody who's taken a little time to, I don't know, just enjoy life a little bit, get things sorted out, decide what it is that they want, maybe set some intentions with the Nine of Cups because it is a card for wishes. And this could be somebody that is coming towards you who is wishing and hoping to meet somebody like you or somebody who really feels like you could be that person. You could be that one that they've been waiting for. And in their heart space, they've got the Empress I mean, Taurus energy right there, Taurus and Libra, it's the planet Venus, which rules, you know, the heart and relationship energy for this to be showing up in their heart space. It is an incredible energy that this person could be really falling for you. They could feel like you could, you could be that one. For me, with a love reading, the emperor, empress, the lovers, it's that person that once you meet them, everything just makes a little more sense. Like you know that you met them for a reason. You realize why things in the past maybe worked or didn't work out the way that you did. Because they did because you feel like you're meant to. You're meant to meet this person. They could be the one that you you know explore things with, have your experiences with. This could be somebody who's honestly falling for you coming towards you, that could definitely be that match with this empress. I mean, that is a beautiful energy showing up. And I'm not saying there aren't any challenging energies in the reading because there are, but we just kick it off with two really beautiful cards. So I love seeing that. What they like best about you in this connection is the Knight of Cups, Scorpio energy could be significant, but this could be somebody who's falling for you. I mean, honestly, they could like what they feel for you. If you have reached out or made some sort of offer or expressed your feelings, they could also really like that. But it is somebody who likes being around you. They do want to see you. They do want to see more of you, maybe take you out, get to know you. It can be somebody really opening up for their heart, but they like the way they feel around you. They like, you know, when when the two of you are together, it feels like they like seeing you. They like talking to you. And once again, you know, if there's nobody specifically on your mind, there could definitely be somebody coming towards you in this energy. But when the Knight of Cups shows up for me, it's somebody that you're interested in. And it's somebody who's interested in you. And they do want to do something, say something, really express their heart to show you. What they don't like as much, though, is the moon card. Pisces energy could be significant again, but um, there is definitely something about confusion, 
there can be a little secrecy, things are not always as they appear, like all of these energies come in with the moon. They could even be feeling confused because, you know, I mean, it's clear that this person is seeing you as the one, but if there has been some sort of challenge or disappointment, um, they could be kind of confused, you know, maybe how to move forward, what to do, what to say. Let's go ahead and get a clarifier and see. I mean, sometimes the moon can be quiet energy, and if you have been quiet, um, or maybe they They've gotten quiet. It could be causing some sort of confusion. Spirit, what, why do we have the moon and what this person doesn't like as much? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, somebody could be taking their time with that Seven of Pentacles. We do have a Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy could be significant, but the Nine of Wands is somebody who's, you know, they've been through their share of things. They're a little bit guarded, but they're definitely wanting to take a stand. They're wanting to see something through. We have the moon clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus energy could be significant, but with the seven of pentacles it is somebody who could be waiting for the right moment waiting for an opportunity but it is somebody who really does feel like what they're waiting for can happen and maybe that is what's confusing maybe they have been waiting or maybe they've kept you waiting and it's caused some sort of confusion but i don't feel like that's really what they want i think this person you know they want to make this happen they want to move forward their highest hopes are the five of cups Always a little confusing when you see kind of a challenging energy show up in one of the really positive placements of the reading. And there's a really positive card showing up in kind of a challenge placement. So this is interesting. And it's your energy showing up. So there is something about this. First of all, Scorpio energy could be significant here. But there is something about this person feeling discouraged. Discouraged about some things that have happened. Maybe some things, you know, haven't worked out. Maybe they are feeling a little guilty about something they said or did. Or maybe they feel like they kind of dropped the ball. Maybe they've just had disappointing or difficult relationships in the past and it's hard for them to believe, you know, that this opportunity, that it's possible, that this can happen. But you see the two of cups is right here. And when it comes to this, you know, this card, when it comes in like a positive placement, like what, and you know, the hopes, placement of a reading, it feels like somebody who's faced some disappointments, you know, somebody who has maybe lost something or, fa or is feeling discouraged is hoping that there is a chance, is hoping that there is an opportunity. And I feel like with this two of cups, you know, somebody could be hoping that the two of you could overcome maybe a confusing or difficult situation, or maybe that this, you know, this time with you is going to be different than things that they've been through in the past. So let's go ahead and see. And we just had one jump out. My goodness. I just went to shuffle the cards and it just jumped right out from the middle. Um, Eight of Swords right next to it. When I opened up the deck, somebody could be overthinking. Gemini energy could be significant. And on the other side, like the card jumped right out of the middle. Um, and it's a strength card, which we'll talk about in a minute. There is a two of cups on one side of it and this eight of swords on the other and it's right next. Oh my goodness. Okay. Whenever I'm guided to look at extra cards, I know there is a reason. We have the nine of cups and the queen of pentacles here. Queen of pentacles would be your energy for sure. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. But we also have that nine of cups, which started at the very beginning, which is somebody who's wishing, hoping, wanting something to happen, feeling like this could really be it with this queen of pentacles showing up they do feel like you could be that person and the queen of pentacles is the energy of somebody you could really commit to you could get really serious with but with the eight of swords there's something about this person overthinking and on the other side of that eight of swords is the two of cups cancer energy could be significant but there's something about you know overthinking feeling like they can't make a move for whatever reason it is i mean maybe with the moon card they're looking at social media or something and thinking, you know, maybe you weren't interested or you weren't available or, you know, something like that. Obviously, that's not always the case, but I'm kind of drawn to that for some reason. But they could be jumping to conclusions, thinking something's happening that it's not. But there's something standing between this nine of cups with you, what they're hoping for, what they're wishing, and this two of cups, this two of cups that they're almost worried isn't even possible in this picture. And yet they are wanting it. They're hoping for it. And, um, and what it takes, the clarifier is a strength card. Leo energy could be significant. But for me, the strength card in a love reading and in many readings is just knowing what's in your heart. 
being really sure, really confident, listening to your feelings, listening to your intuition, and then having the confidence to take that step. This is somebody it feels like, you know, needs to maybe face whatever these disappointments are and look beyond that and see, you know, we've got this castle here. Whenever I see castles in a reading, to me, it's the union. It's the connection. It's everything that we desire. Cross the feelings. We have the water there, you know, the worries and the doubts and face their feelings and see, see if this two of cups is standing, see if it's possible. Maybe it will take their strength, but it feels like they're hoping to have the strength to take that step. Now, their deepest fears are the queen of coins, which is very interesting because as I said, this would be you showing up big time in there, you know, in this reading could um, also be strong in your person's chart as well with the earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But with this being what they fear, I will clarify and see what that's all about. But they, I feel like this is somebody who admires you. They are interested in you. You don't get the Empress here and the Knight of Cups, you know, unless somebody is really feeling like this could be it. You could be the one really falling for you. But for the Queen of Coins to show up in the challenge placement, it almost could be like they think that you're good on your own, that you have it all together, that you're doing just fine. You know, maybe it's almost like a little intimidated. Obviously, that's not always going to be the situation, but I tell like all the different messages that come through, take what resonates. But they could be feeling like, you know, they want to be with you. They want to, you know, have, um, you know, what it takes to really move forward in something like this. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody that you really commit to, that you get really serious with. But there's something about that that, you know, it's they're nervous about. And, you know, we saw the Eight of Swords. We saw the Five of Cups. They're feeling discouraged and, you know, and like they don't know exactly how to move forward. Spirit, why do we have the Queen of Coins in this person's deepest fears when it comes to this connection with Taurus. Why do we have the Queen of Coins? Wow. Okay, we have the Death card clarifying that Scorpio energy could be significant on the bottom of the deck. We have the Nine of Swords. I see that Nine of Cups just keeps peeking out. It's like they're really wanting this to happen. I see the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini for that Nine of Swords. Of course, Libra and Aquarius as well, just any swords energy. But this is somebody that is overthinking here. The Nine of Swords, tossing, turning, sleepless nights, overthinking. Could be a lot of psychic energy. Clearly, there is this initiative with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Something they're wanting to say, something they're wanting to do, some sort of initiative they're wanting to take from the heart. But we've got the clarifying the Queen of Pentacles um, in their fears is the Death card. This could be somebody who is afraid of losing you altogether or afraid that they've lost you. Afraid maybe that if they say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, it could all just kind of blow up in their face and not work out at all. And there's something about them feeling kind of defeated. Or it could be that, you know, they're having this interest in you and really thinking this could be something, but they, you know, have their fears because of their own losses and their own disappointments and the things that haven't worked out in the past. And I feel like it's somebody, you know, who's made some mistakes and doesn't want to make those mistakes again. It's like with you, I feel like they want to get this right. So now we're going to look at what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next. Any advice Spirit has for you? What's likely to happen? We have the Eight of Cups. And I will get a clarifier for this because this card can go in a few different ways. This Eight of Cups is about sorting things out. It's about figuring out your priorities. It's about figuring out what's important. This is somebody who is leaving behind um, things that don't serve, things that don't feel right, so that they can go towards their ninth cup, their wish fulfillment, their um, their tenth cup, their happy lasting connection. Um, Pisces energy again could be significant, but this is somebody who has some decisions to make. The eight of cups comes right after the seven of cups and the seven of cups is somebody who's pulled this way and that and they're confused and they have all these options. They don't know what to do. They know they need to make a choice. And this is somebody that is realizing, you know what? I need to go within. I need to take a little time to process. I need to sort some things out and decide what's really important to me. The fact 
fact that they're seeing you is the not as the ninth cup this whole time, like all through the reading, it keeps coming out. And this person is going looking for their ninth cup. It feels like this is somebody who is leaving some things behind, releasing some things so that they can really move towards what they are hoping for with you. But they do have to kind of face their fears a little bit. This moon card, you know, what they don't like as much, you know, is things, you know, also has a lot to do with intuition. They might not be trusting their own intuition. But at times, this also can be somebody getting quiet, pulling away, taking a little time to process some things. So we're going to go ahead and look at what they're likely to do, and then we'll pull some clarifiers and see what that's all about. What they're likely to do. Okay, Six of Wands. This is definitely somebody coming towards you. I was kind of curious. I was like, are they going to pull away or are they just going to take a little time to prioritize and get some things sorted out? Leo energy for the Six of Wands. But this is somebody who is overcoming some internal battles, some personal things so that they really can move forward um, in a really positive and successful way or come forward, you know, towards somebody that they do want to be with somebody that they do feel like, you know, they could be very happy. And this is somebody who wants to impress you. They could want to sweep you off your feet. They could want to surprise you. They could want to take you out. But it is somebody, because it comes after the five of wands, overcoming some challenges, some difficulties. Maybe they've, you know, had some dramatic past situations, you know, like, I don't know, exes, things like that, that took a lot out of them and they have to get over or release some dramatic situations or just release maybe some ideas that they have about relationships altogether so that they can, you know, take this initiative so that they can move forward. We already had the Eight of Cups clarifier jump out. Why do we have the Six of Wands? Why do we have the Six of Wands and what they're likely to do? My goodness. Okay, I've got a few energies wanting to show themselves. It's very interesting, and I will go ahead and take them out. Um, we have clarifying, we have the devil, the eight of wands, and the lovers, which is interesting because I feel like the devil and the lovers are like two polarities, like the higher vibration of the connection, and then that lower, like more fearful, more doubting kind of energy, more codependent. Um, and it's very interesting because I do feel like a little bit of a tug of war with this person. Like they feel like you could absolutely be it, but it's almost like up in their head, they have this idea that, you know, I don't know that maybe relationships cause drama and stress and things like that, but we've got a lover's card coming out. When the lover's card comes out, there's something more to all of this. And we have the Eight of Cups clarified by the Magician. Aries and Gemini energy for me as a reader. This is somebody who is making some decisions. This is somebody who is deciding to take some initiative in their life. To take some, you know, instead of waiting for things to happen, instead of being caught up in this and that, that they are going to focus and they're going to create. The Magician is all about setting intentions and really manifesting the kind of life that you desire. Listening to your heart, taking action, and realizing you have say, you have have authority over the direction of your life and this is somebody who is releasing things so that they can really move towards what is important and what really matters we have the six of wands which i was talking about you know somebody overcoming some difficulties some challenges some battles coming towards you sometimes it can be a return sometimes it can be the energy of you know somebody just wanting to really impress you but definitely hoping for success coming towards you wanting to see you but overcoming like i said some battles here and we've got but the devil, the eight of wands, and the lovers, Capricorn, Sagittarius, uh, Gemini could be significant, but I feel like this is what is going on. Somebody who's overcoming their fears and doubts and all of these ideas that, you know, I mean, and I know I have been there. There are those ideas that if you, you know, you let somebody into, you know, when you're... <clears throat> If you've been, let's see if there's a good way to explain this. If you've been in like toxic controlling relationships or codependent relationships and you work really hard to get out of that and then, you know, you fall for somebody, there is that little like, I don't know, it's like a little demon on your shoulder that's like, it's going to be just like last time. You're going to get stuck. You're going to get, you know, and, and you get stressed and then you look at this brand new person with these eyes, you know, 
um, that are it's kind of seen through the glasses of the old connection. I guess I hope that makes sense. And I feel like that's not what this person wants to do anymore. I think that they really want to leave the old things in the past, the disappointments in the past, and, you know, those fears and doubts. And they feel like this could really be something they want to move towards you. Granted, the fears are here, that, you know, the doubts are here, but I do feel like with the Eight of Wands and the Lovers, this is somebody who is absolutely wanting to overcome that. Now, in some cases can be with the Eight of Wands and the Devil Energy, can be a lot of physical attraction, a lot of lust, somebody who is even a little obsessive, maybe wanting to rush the connection, you know, and if that is the situation, you take things, you know, at your own pace, you do what feels right. You definitely don't want to be rushed into something that feels, you know, doesn't feel right because what you're holding space for and what it is that your universe wants to bring towards you is this lover's energy, which for me in a love reading is that person, that person who could, is the match, that person who is the one. There is somebody coming towards you, maybe sooner, quicker than you think, maybe after you release, you know, maybe you have to walk away from some things that have been difficult, toxic, whatever, to clear space. But the lovers comes in, the empress comes in, there is definitely something good in the works for you, Taurus. And with the Eight of Wands, it is communication. It is forward movement. It is things happening faster than you even realize. And this is something very positive. This is somebody who wants to choose you, hoping that you are going to be, you know, um, that person. They said with that Nine of Cups that they've been wishing and hoping for. Definitely got to be over, you know, overcome some fears and doubts and definitely could be leaving behind some like, you know, stressful or toxic things or just their own fears and things that they've carried. Maybe their own baggage from some past things. But if you want this kind of connection, I mean, if what you're, you're really hoping for and really wishing for is this kind of experience with you something they take to the next level, something that really lasts. They've got to be ready to offer that. And that could be kind of what they're processing and sorting out and figuring out right now. So what is your advice? Nine of Wands, interesting. Leo energy could be significant, but honestly, the Nine of Wands is like, take initiative, take action. You know, if you feel like talking, talk, but really for me, the Wands are always about doing something that you're passionate about, doing something that excites you. It's funny, the Ace of Wands, I think, I think it was, was the final card in the Aries reading. And I think it's just reminders, honestly, that when we're doing something that excites us, something we're passionate about something that lights us up our whole vibration raises and we tend to attract in such better things it's something I talked about quite a lot on patreon I did a huge series for the eclipses and um and our May reading I just did I think that was yesterday day before yesterday um, but all these really beautiful energies of the good things the good things that we want, the good things that we know that we deserve, the good things that we're worthy of, the good things that we are calling in have so much to do with the initiative that we take in our own life. doesn't have to be towards anyone in particular. It's just doing something that excites you, doing something that you're passionate about, doing something that feels right. Even when you don't know how it's going to turn out, this, you know, Knight of Wands comes rushing in, doesn't always have all the answers, doesn't always know what's going to happen, but they take initiative on something that feels you know right to them and that's what your guides are saying there's something about you you know taking um taking action towards something that is meaningful to you something that feels right that is bringing together this beautiful energy that your universe is wanting to bring towards you we have the nine of pentacles and the sun here virgo leo energy could be significant there's something about you being a little bit of like independent energy feeling good about yourself that is bringing in some real happy some real good news. We have the Knight of Wands clarified by the Justice card and the Page of Pentacles. Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You, we are always attracting what we are, what we hold. With the Justice card, this is the universe always bringing in balance. It is the law of attraction. It is karma. It is what we put out comes back to us. It is the fact that the universe is always working on what is right and just there and bringing balance. And there's something about you, you know, feeling excited, feeling passionate, taking initiative when it feels right, that is also bringing that same towards you, which is bringing in this page of pentacles, which I love the page of pentacles when it comes to a love reading, because it's 
somebody that wants to be around you more, somebody who wants to see you, talk to you, you know, hear your voice, hear your laugh, do something, you know, something specific to really show that they're interested, to, to just take like a step forward. And because pentacles are all about, you know, um, tangible things. And I love how these people are kind of face to face in this particular card. It's beautiful for a love reading. Um, somebody who does want to see you face to face. Somebody who does want to start something. Now, they are very interested. You would not get the lovers and the empress and the knight of cups here if this person wasn't extremely interested. But it does feel like, you know, they're open to taking things at your pace. And because the page of pentacles, it's kind of tentative. It goes one step at a time. So if you're not wanting to be rushed into something, thing, you know, definitely setting your intentions, communicating your needs. But I feel like this person is wanting to meet you where you're at and move forward together and see what can happen. So that is the message that I have for you. I do hope that something spoke to everyone who is guided here. If you are curious about, you know, personal readings, Patreon, my twin flame readings, I open up my second channel, Aquarius Rising Tarot. All of that is in the description box. Check it out. Like the reading if you like it and please subscribe. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.